looking like an olive garden. Literally, what if that was like my name? Like, first name Olive, last name Garden, and my favorite color was green. And I just wore green all the time. It's an interesting character. I'm gonna have to write about her one day. tuning in to this one. If you're new here, my name is Key and I help you new and aspiring models learn how to get started modeling and get paid doing it. So in my last video, I talked about how you can get signed to an agency today. I gave you a few different ways that you can go about getting signed to your agency of your dreams. I also mentioned my previous video on how to choose the right agency for you. So make sure you check that out. But in this video, I wanted to go over something that's really important when you are trying to find the right agency for you before you're trying to find the right agency for you before you even think of submitting, you have to have something to show them, right? So today I wanted to share with you the right way that you should be building your portfolio because there is a right and wrong way and I'm pretty sure that most of you out there are doing it the wrong way. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how you can build your portfolio and how you should be doing it the right way. So first off, for those of you who don't know, what is a portfolio? A portfolio is just the comp of all the photos that you have done in your career so you have a book usually um, back in the day it was a book nowadays with technology and social media you can have it online on a website Instagram you can use as your online portfolio or when I like what I like to do when I go to um, go sees castings whatever you like to call it I use my iPad and I keep my book on there keep my portfolio on a album called my portfolio and I can just swipe through and you can see all my pictures but um, just to break it down and keep it simple it is a book of all your pictures that you have done in your career so you, only your best shots though not all of them so let me say that again it is a book of your best shots from your career so all of the best shots that you have done from your photo shoots are in this book and you usually show that book to the casting directors that you go to castings for um, potential jobs or if you're trying to get signed you will show this book at your open call and you can also upload these pictures to online submissions you know these are your best shots and you want people to see them so they can see how you move how you look how you are in front of the camera and what kind of shots you can deliver and what they can expect from you if they were to sign you or book you so your book is very important your portfolio is very important to have as a model now when you are first building up your portfolio what most models what most new models will do is just you know start putting um, all the photos that they've done you know for free or you know in the beginning they'll just throw in as many photos as possible in their portfolio because they want it to seem full they want it to seem like they've done a lot of work so any shoot that they have done you know will just end up in their portfolio and that is not what you should do because like I get, again like I said the portfolio that you have should only include your best shots you want your best hitters your best bangers in there for people to see okay but another thing that I see with a lot of um, new models books is that their portfolio is just all over the place it's very random you don't know what exactly they are modeling you know you don't know what the purpose of their um, photos are or why it's even in their portfolio to begin with so I'm going to share with you a few things that you should keep in mind when you are building your portfolio okay some key things that you need to remember when you are starting to put together your book so the first key tip that I have for building your portfolio the right way is to know what market you're in. So a market is just basically the 
area um, that you are working in pretty much but there are specific markets across the modeling industry that you want to be aware of for example New York has a very high fashion market it's very high fashion runway on um, their editorial looks out there whereas in Cali it's very commercial more lifestyle modeling out there while in Miami it's more sexy very a lot of swim modeling out there um, fitness modeling even out there so you just want to know what area you're in what market you're trying to be in and make sure your book reflects that so when you are approaching these different markets you have a portfolio that is consistent with that market so it just doesn't seem like you don't fit in that market make sure that you know what market you're trying to be in so when you're building that portfolio all the shots in your book are cohesive you know and match the market that you're trying to be in second key tip for building your modeling portfolio the right way is to pick a niche. And I've gone back and forth on this topic a bit because you know you don't want to um, limit yourself or box yourself in. I have a few models that have come to me and asked me like, you know, what niche should I be in? I don't want to be boxed in and down. And it depends on what type of model you're really trying to be. So a fashion model or a, a top model I should say is really going to be dabbling in all different types of markets and their book is going to reflect that so if you are trying to be a top model you're trying to be you know signed with a top agency you want a book that reflects your versatility so you want a little bit of high fashion editorial looks you want a little bit of lifestyle commercial looks you want a little bit of sexy swim looks you want a little bit of hard action fitness looks you want a little bit of everything because you want to show your versatility off to that agency so they can push you to all these different jobs that are available and then you can obviously get more bookings and become a big model but um, if you're just starting out especially nowadays with social media it can be a little bit overwhelming to try and just do all of these different things and actually it's a little bit more strategic nowadays if you really niche down into one specific area for mom for instance if you are into the gym if you you know like to have a fit body have a nice fit look you can become a fitness model so that means your book should not have a lot of beauty work in it or a lot of um, high fashion look in it because you are a fitness model you want your book to represent the type of modeling jobs that you want to get so as a fitness model you should have you know action shots and you should have maybe some lifestyle shots but of you in fitness attire you know you want to keep your book um, cohesive with the market that you're trying to um, sell yourself to you want to keep your book consistent with the image that you're trying to sell yourself as same thing goes if you want to do beauty modeling if you're into makeup if you like playing around with looks or you if you just have that face that makeup looks great on you know you have the cheekbones the eyelids the whatever if you love you know doing beauty looks then your portfolio should reflect that so have a bunch of beauty shots in your portfolio I think all models should have at least one or two good beauty shots because beauty work is really what sells in this industry beauty campaigns are where the money is so you know every model should have one or two beauty looks in there but if you're trying to niche down that's a good way to do it just have a few different looks but they all are in the same niche okay so they're all beauty all fitness all lifestyle all high fashion editorially when someone comes to look at your portfolio they should know exactly what type of model you are and how they can use you okay how exactly they can place you in their next campaign because you already shown them how you can be used how your face looks with this makeup or how your body looks in this look in this athletic wear your book is just like your resume so you want to make sure that it has the looks in there that you are trying to sell yourself for and an easy way to do that is to niche down into one area and really build your name in that area in that space 
so people know you for this and then once you reach that level where your name really speaks for yourself you've really exhausted the fitness industry you have really exhausted the beauty industry and you want to do something else it'll be easier for you to move into other things because you have a starting place and you're already known and now you can move into these other areas that you want to explore but when you're just starting out and trying to dip and dab into all these different other niches and trying to fill it all in your book and can be a little bit overwhelming and you're probably not going to be comfortable going from swim to lifestyle to fitness to beauty you know you might not be comfortable in all those areas so just get comfortable doing one thing niche in one area and then over time you can break out into these different areas that you might want to explore and that might be available to you to get even bigger opportunities and bigger jobs later okay so we have the first two you know your market you know your niche you know exactly where you are trying to be in the industry you know exactly how you're trying to sell yourself the next thing that you want to keep in mind when you are building your portfolio the right way is to network with the people around you and this is really important because when you're a new model just starting out you're not going to really have any idea on how to build your portfolio if you don't know anybody it can be really hard for you to build your portfolio you know you need to start networking with photographers look for local photographers in your area and I have a whole video on this on how you can build your portfolio for free so check that video out I'm gonna put it up here um, that explains exactly how I started building my portfolio for free the first year I really started taking modeling seriously but yeah if you want to build your portfolio then you're going to have to network with people in your area to get it done you're gonna have to network with photographers to you know take your pictures you're gonna have to network with the makeup artists and hairstylists in your area if you want makeup and hair unless you're comfortable doing it yourself but I'll still advise you to network with makeup artists even if you can do it yourself because it's good to have that connection and you never know working with that person now and later on they can recommend you to somebody else you know oh, I worked with this dope trying to wreck my flow all right let's try this again you never know by working with them who they may recommend you to later on like hey I work with this dope model you know she's really cool you should use her for your next campaign you know things like that word of mouth can take you really far when building your modeling careers so always 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 be network and lastly my fourth tip for building your portfolio the right way is to invest in yourself babe if you want to be taken seriously as a model and taken seriously as a professional then you have to start treating yourself as the professional that you are and that means investing in your career in your photos in your makeup you really have to take the time to budget out the money to put back into your career you know you want to spend time on a photographer who has high quality photos because that's just going to make your book look better. You want to spend money on a good makeup artist and hairstylist because that's just going to make the photo shoot look better. You want to make sure that you are spending your money wisely but make sure that you're spending your money on you because in the end it will only benefit you and it will only make you and your book look better. So when you go to these castings and you go to these open calls, you look like the professional that you are. You look like a serious model who wants to work. Invest in wardrobe, invest in hair, invest in the things that's going to make you look like a model because at the end of the day, that's what you're trying to be, right? And those are all the tips that I have for you today, babe. Make sure that you know what market you're trying to be in. Make sure you know what niche that you really want to dive into and help build your name in this industry. Network, network, network with as many people as you can. And don't forget to invest in yourself because it will only make you look better. Keeping all these tips in mind will help you build your portfolio the right way way and it will show when you go to show it off to other people so let me know if you like this video let me know if these tips were helpful if you want more help learning how to build your portfolio and figuring out what niche you want to be in and what market is really best for you then make sure you're following me on instagram at that so key and send me a dm 
send me a DM with the word YouTube so I know where you came from and your question about how to build your portfolio or what niche that you should be in. So make sure you're following me at That's So Key and send me your question. And make sure you're subscribed to my channel, hit the notification button so you know when I've uploaded next and I'll see you in my next one.